Ready to meet the future? What if the robots you only dreamed of are already here, walking, flying, and changing everything? From flying cars to mind-blowing humanoid helpers, this video reveals the most incredible machines you never knew existed. Stick around, because missing out on these game changers, that's something you definitely won't regret. Let's dive in. American company Abyss Creations has created a humanoid robot girl named Harmony, which has artificial intelligence. Harmony can speak, learn, and, says her creators, never say no to anything. She can discuss movies, music and literature, tell jokes, and recite Shakespeare. She recalls her owner's hobbies, birthday, and their family members' names. She can smile, blink, and pout. Even though she can move, she cannot go for a walk. According to the creators, walking is too energy intensive and costly to include in the current development. The Real Botics branch of Abyss Creations, comprising five individuals across different states and states, develops Harmony. The team consists of an engineer, two AI coders, an app developer, and a virtual reality specialist. They converge every few months at the company headquarters in San Marcos, California. Future editions of Harmony, the team says, will have a fully moving body and even more sophisticated artificial intelligence. Leave a comment if you'd like to have such a personal robot. Humanoid robot company Robot Era introduced its latest invention, X Hand, for general and industrial purposes. A video posted by the company shows its X Box L robot executing the capabilities of X Hand as the robots execute exercises to demonstrate their fine hand movements and dexterity. The robot stretches its fingers, clenches and unclenches its fists sweeps its arms, and even handles fragile objects, such as plush toys and a purring kitten. It is observed to execute detailed actions, such as trimming a wilting leaf from a plant, its manipulation of robotic gears, inflation of a balloon, and discharge of plastic marbles. The robot is also observed to have a gentle touch in gently placing an egg on a table. With 12 active degrees of motion, the X hand was crafted to redefine general purpose robotics. Its onboard tactile sensors and advanced transmission system improve motion control accuracy and provide smooth motion. It can carry heavy objects such as a five kilogram water bottle, thus suiting various aspects of the environment. Furthermore, due to being equipped with highly intelligent intelligent, trusted, and dexterous hands. It can also be sent to a home environment to perform home tasks such as garden maintenance and pet sitting, opening new applications for humanoid robotic systems. Chinese firm Astribot has launched a new humanoid robot named the S1, which travels at 10 meters per second and can support loads of 10 kilograms. Its speed is sufficient to pull a tablecloth from under a tower of glasses without knocking them over. But the S1 isn't only speedy, it's also uncanny in its precision. In a demonstration video, the robot completes a series of fine actions, opening and pouring wine, peeling a cucumber, flipping a sandwich in a pan, vacuuming, and even calligraphically writing. Its human-like ability to move is a sign of its potential to learn. There are a few things the video doesn't explain, however. For one, does the S1 have a lower half? Most robots of this kind do, but the S1 doesn't look to. It's also not clear if the robot will see full-scale manufacture. Astrobot states on its website that the company was established in 2022 in Shenzhen. It took the firm a year to create the S1, which is set to see release later this year. The company also states that Astrobot's parent firm, Stardust Intelligence, was established by the founder of the company, Lei. Boston Dynamics is currently testing the new iteration of its humanoid robot, Atlas 2.0. But the original, now fabled hydraulic Atlas hasn't been forgotten yet. The company still posts new videos of the older model's testing and capabilities, touting its impressive applications in industrial and construction environments. Due to the power of artificial intelligence, the Atlas can pick up, lift, carry, and put down objects of many shapes, size and weight. They include a kettlebell, an air compressor, a car's muffler, 
and a wooden stool. Large objects such as the muffler or a wheel-shaped object are manipulated with both of its hands, while the smaller ones are done with one. The upcoming robot is to be used in an unspecified factory next year, where it will displace part of the workers. We'll see how its journey unfolds as more humanoid robots are developed. The crew responsible for the Xpeng X2 isn't dreaming. It's moving at lightning speed, really moving fast. In fact, last year, this futuristic flying car took its inaugural public flight in Beijing to huge fanfare and time to perfection. As it just so happens, local authorities in Beijing are already mapping the way towards a fly future, with big plans to open three specialized air routes at low altitude by 2027. These air routes are part of the country's ambitious urban air mobility plan to revolutionize the way people travel in and between cities. So, what can the Xpeng X2 do exactly? This sleek, diminutive two-seater airplane can fly to one kilometer in altitude, cruise the air at 130 kilometers per hour, and accommodate two people easily. It's fully electric, no fuel, no din, only clean, futuristic power. A full charge gets you 35 whole minutes, plenty of time for most city rides. The Xpeng X2 is not a prototype, however. It'll hit the market before long, with an expected starting price tag of $126,000. Less than most sports cars, but this one flies. As flying cars become fact rather than fiction, Xpeng is demonstrating that it's not only about speed, but making the skies accessible to regular people. Wheeled and double-armed, the new Rainbow Robotics robot is creating waves. The firm signed a memorandum of agreement with the Schaeffler Group and the Korea Electronics Technology Institute last month to co-develop the RBY-1 and other mobile manipulators in Korea. In the past year, there has been an explosion of development in the humanoid form, with robots walking on two legs. Similarly, there have also been numerous new releases of mobile manipulators, autonomous robots with one arm mounted on a wheeled platform. The RBY-1 is different, however. It's a wheeled base with a humanoid double arm system on top. Rainbow Robotics uses this to navigate through spaces and position the legs of the structure to manipulate things. The firm refers to this arrangement as a bimanual manipulator and can accomplish complex tasks with arm based on this configuration. The double arm of the RBY-1 both includes seven degrees of freedom and attaches to a six axis single torso that can affect vertical motion of more than 50 centimeters tall. It is thereby good for tasks of different heights. The highest speed of the drive is 5.6 meters per hour and the firm claims that the robot can also accelerate to speed and make turns faster by leaning its profile into turns so as not to topple over. The center of gravity is dynamically managed by modulating the height of the body. Currently at press time, not much is known regarding the intelligence of the robot. Early videos indicate work via teleoperation with a suggestion of remote control. However, Rainbow Robotics is firmly focused on making the RBY-1 autonomous as more research, development, training, and simulation occur. The ch While the Cora is looking to join the race, the Joby Aviation S4 Air Cab is already moving in to beat the others to the punch. Its development team has racked up more than 48,000 kilometers of demanding testing flights and is already busily working toward official certification. Better still, it's got flight trials booked in Dubai for mid-year, putting on track to be among the most promising personal air transportation projects to become a reality. It's not science fiction. It's science in motion. So, what is the S-4 anyway? It's an EVTOL, a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft of the electric variety. It can take up to four riders per flight. In the air, it flies at up to 322 kilometers per hour with a decent range of 240 kilometers. Plenty enough to make a city jump or hop over the city for a few miles of urban commuting. The entire experience is meant to be as seamless and uncomplicated as reserving a ride in a car. Tap on an app and you're on the way. No traffic jam to hit, no road rage to contend with. 
just a clean, quiet ride over the air. Joby is marketing this as a green, futuristic way of getting from point A to point B via the ground. The only remaining question is, how much will you pay to jump in the air for the ride? Gold to the geniuses responsible for the Cavorite X7, history's first stable and stable hover-to-cruise transition in an EVTOL aircraft. That's a game changer. Most aircraft struggle to maintain both forward motion and vertical lift, but the Cavorite X7 is able to handle both with dazzling ease. How? It has 14 beefed up fans inside its folding wings. Those fans enable the aircraft to take off from and land on the ground vertically, akin to a drone or a helicopter. But in flight, something miraculous occurs. Those fans fold inward seamlessly into the wings, which then fly like those of a conventional airplane. Now, the aircraft engages its turboprop-powered rear pusher propeller, transitioning from hover to cruise with ease. The payoff? Dizzying 450 km per hour top speed and 800 km max range per flight. That's speedy. And that's not the only way in which the aircraft excels. It can also accommodate six passengers in comfort and flies for 30% cheaper than a helicopter, which is not only advanced, but also cost smart. As of today, the Cavorite X7 is in the last stages of full-scale man-rated prototype development. It's not available yet, but the list price is already known $5 million. It's expensive, but for what it can do, it might actually be worth every penny. What if roads weren't only the pavement beneath your tires, but the big blue above the top of your head as well? Imagine this for a second, cruising down the highway at 200 kilometers per hour, tires humming, the radio blasting, Everything is like a standard rush hour commute until you drive up to a small airport, pull over for a minute, and push a button. In only three minutes, the car begins to unfold. Wings emerge, the tail stabilizers extend, and suddenly you're not a driver, but a pilot. Instantly, you're off the pavement and hurtling toward the clouds, reaching a peak airspeed of 305 kilometers per hour. That's not some distant science fiction world or idea still on the whiteboard. It's real. Meet the Switchblade, a dual-mode flying car from Samson Sky. It's a daring combination of automotive and aircraft, and the goal is to make ordinary daily commuting an air-filled adventure. Over 2,000 people have already put in their pre-orders, so excitement for the machine is reaching stratospheric levels, quite literally. The Switchblade has a planned flight range of 724 kilometers and is perfect for hopscotching from city to city. The planned cost? A bit more than $170,000. And the timeline? it might become a reality as early as this coming calendar year. The way is opening, and now the way goes as far as the clouds. Skyfly also has roads far below, and the horizon a little nearer. It is more than futuristic looking. This two-seater personal aircraft is functional and beautifully crafted. Equipped with vertical takeoff and landing, the Skyfly is ideal for those who want to take off from nearly any location without the necessity of a runway. One of the most ingenious things about its design is that, unlike most of its rivals, Skyfly's engines and wings are fixed in position. No folding, no rotating components, just good engineering. This maintains the overall weight incredibly minimal at only 272 kilograms, so it is agile and most efficient in the skies. When range is concerned, the Skyfly is no slacker. In its standard electric form, it can travel 160 kilometers, so it is suitable for short trips and recreational travel. But with the option to go with the hybrid model, the range expands to 482 kilometers, a number that approaches many of the latest automobiles. It is almost the distance from the United Kingdom to France. Due to its size and the fact that it is so straightforward in its design, some believe the Skyfly also has good prospects as an aircraft for new pilots to learn in, especially as we head towards the era of personal air mobility. Pre-order is already open with prices starting at $300 to $12,000.